Don't hunt loc. Oh my god, G. She hunted locust and killed her. Good job, everyone. That ought to keep the Imperials off our back for a little while longer. Yellow leader, it seems I misjudged you. Can you forgive me? Hey, I just painted this thing. Of course, Red Leader. For you see, it doesn't matter about the color of our squadron. What's important is we're all the same on the. <laughs> Oh my god, the t Maybe if I run real fast, we can just clear right through there. Okay. Uh-oh. Oh! This is why we save. Take it. Now you'll see why I'm the most dangerous assassin on Taris. You cannot win. I don't know. We're doing pretty decently so far. Sorry, I didn't actually mean to kill you. I think I got him. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, what the hell? Not what I was going for, Aloy. I'll save this for a dire. That's what I wanted. It just occurred to me that mixing medicine and alcohol is a really stupid and possibly lethal thing to do. If I were a real person instead of a lovably inept cartoon character Library with the potential lore, for a few more a sequels, I wouldn't just even consider it. Channel. Elds, please prepare Skull. a seat for our guest. Mm. 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 Thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate that. That's odd. It's supposed to cause drowsiness. I don't feel the least bit drowsy. In fact, I, uh... In fact, I feel, uh... Oh, you son of a... I did not mean for this to get... Was a bit preoccupied. Oh! Oh my god, how strong are these Dilophosaurus? Wow! Okay. It doesn't seem to open. That doesn't seem to work. I tried to give the deadly piranha poodles to the meat. Oddly enough, that does not seem to be working. Triple kill! That was a good chunk of damage. That's different. Ooh. Holy crap, what was that? Uh, 
Uh, yeah, back off. You really don't want to be standing there. Nadine, I'm giving you the count of five. Five, four, three, two, one. Thank you. This has been a very quiet level so far. It makes me very suspicious. Well. It said don't touch. I warned you. <laughs> <laughs> Ken, did you hear something? For those of you not aware, this is the castle of Daventry from King's Quest. It was probably just the Gators entertaining another Space Quest player. Go back to sleep, Berta. Through a strange quirk of fate, or was it, you have stumbled into a place beyond time, space, and dimension. You have entered the Daventry Zone. That's right, the land of King's Quest. This will not help you now since you are playing Space Quest. Wooden barracks constructed in Mayo. I would normally want to build wooden barracks in the Earth rather than in Mayonnaise, but, you know, construction techniques were a little more primitive back then. You gotta make... <laughs> wow! Residential, it's fine. It's fine. I'm actually gonna put a little residential in here. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome back to the Library of Lore. See, I'm almost getting used to that. How's everybody doing? It's good to see you, Aaron Lore. Enjoy your lurk, Mad Unstara. I uh, hope everyone is having a good day. I've been so busy the last couple of days. I made literally 81 clips of the Jurassic World stream the other day. Ugh. Remind me not to do that again. I haven't even started working with most of them. <laughs> um, okay, let me see. Today, though, we're going to be playing some Breath of the Wild, and we have a little bit of a different setup. So let me get the switch going. Everything's moved around a little bit. There we go. I think we're okay. Okay. Yep, so will my Aunt Stara. <laughs> I'm still getting used to this as well. Okay, I actually need my program to capture this for myself, so hang on just a moment. Oh, right. I, I also completely lost track of the fact that it is indeed Good Friday. Um, Where's my capture utility? Oh, there we go. There we go, okay. It's relevant to me because it means I have today and Monday off. Well, that is a pretty good reason for it to be relevant. Where did we leave off? Oh right, we just got into a new temple, so right off the bat we are looking at trying to figure this out. So we've got a chest up there, that pillar extending downwards with multiple spikes pointing directly at the chest and its platform does not look in the least bit suspicious. There's no way anything bad could possibly happen with that. Um, so we're ultimately trying to get up there after we get any chests that might be present. I spy another one up there. So we've got to be prepared to try to grab that if possible. I didn't realize Link could climb those things. 
we have a stubbornly wooden box right here, which means I can't use magnesis on it. That's a pain. We have several metal boxes in here, which look promising for magnesis, but it looks like I require a key to get at those. Well, let's see here. I need the bow too. Okay, that doesn't help. Okay. Slightly suspicious of this. Now, hmm. uh, it seems to me that standing on top of that might have been the way to actually get high enough up to move over to these things here, but oh well. We'll work on figuring that out at some point. It just goes crunch. So I guess ultimately we're going to want to... No, that doesn't look very mobile, does it? It really is. The sound is amazing. Looks promising then. Just gotta figure out a way to get up there, and I'm imagining that another one of these boxes would probably do that trick pretty nicely. Two boxes would do the trick nicely.
Of course, my inventory is full. Uh, what can I ditch? Probably that. Sixty fifty one. Damn. Okay. We are not out of the woods yet, though. We still have to get over there and manage to climb up that thing. And unfortunately, I'm not sure how exactly we're supposed to bring that thing back down. Unless... Maybe we don't need to. The thumps, the explosions, every little thing. Yeah, the sound is amazing in this. Kind of obnoxious. Not quite what I had in mind. given me one more block. Is there anything else in here? I didn't really look around inside. No, there's the breakable, unfortunately. And I don't believe the chests themselves are magnetic at all. No. Okay. How dare you work physics, I know. It's very rude. So how has everybody's week been? I hope you're all doing fantastic today. Come on. this to go back up, can I?
Mine's been good. Long weekends begun, so that always helps. I've started a new Skyrim run using Ordinator and Unarmed Combat as your main fighting style. Ordinator puts perks for it in the light armor tree, so it's actually viable and quite fun since you've never done it before. That's awesome. Maybe one day I'll try a primarily melee build. It's hard to imagine trying it, but you never know. Maybe it'd be fun. that it won't let you lift yourself with magnesis. I know there are actually tricks you can use to make that work, but I don't think I'm going to be able to pull it off here. One thing I can imagine that might work um, is using that trick where you use stasis and then launch one of these and grab onto it, except that, actually never mind, you can't even grab onto those. So that's too far across the chamber, I was just wondering if I lifted myself up on this inverted pressure plate thing. I could glide over, but I don't see that happening. Might be worth figuring out Jessica, I am doing pretty good today. I've had a very busy couple of days. How are you doing? I did an unusual amount of work crafting a short based on uh, the... <clears throat> no, damn it. Based on the... Uh, dinosaur free-for-all that I set up the other day on Tuesday. Usually when I do a short, I just take a simple clip. I clip out a, a particular interesting moment from it, and then I just upload it. But in this one, I actually ended up combining about three different clips to do the setup for it, and then I showed the the Rindiosaurus being absolutely mauled by an entire pack of raptors. 
Ultra grab the clip of the actual attack itself, and then I just sort of wrapped in the reveal, like the releasing from the hatchery moments of the Therinthiosaurus and the raptors themselves. And it, I think it ended up pretty good, even having some special music for it. What happened there? What the heck? Difficulty. You are well excellent, I am very glad to hear that. Elder Scrolls Online event is keeping you busy in a good way. Ah, that's excellent to hear. Actually, I need that back. Can I get that back? I shoved it too far. Okay. It's a shame I can't put water on the floor so that I could raise this up with ice. To earn the rewards is quite simple, but everyone is playing, so it's easy to do some bosses right now. There's so many people to help. Oh, that's awesome. Hope it continues to go well. set up for when I glide over. Hey, Shark Snarky, how's it going? <laughs> Trying to fill my sticker book of weapons that drop, it is a system that eliminates the... Oh, really? It eliminates RNG from drops you can reconstruct with the traits later on. Interesting. This is the maximum height I can get. Oh, hang on. That looks a lot more attainable than over there. Ah. 
I might be imagining that though. Yeah, okay. Oh, well. Maybe there is something I have to do with these pillars. I can't imagine what though, they don't seem to want to move at all anymore. Although that protruding edge, I wonder if I can do something with that. just made this whole thing a lot easier, I think. Also, probably a lot more deadly, but we'll see how it goes. in overcoming this trial speaks to the promise of a hero. In the name of Goddess Hylia, I bestow upon you the spirit orb. That was a fun one. I enjoyed that one quite a bit. And now we can do another thing. Gotta smile upon you. Doing well. I have late shift today, so spending some time in the darkest dungeon with a coffee and cinnamon sugar bagel. Oh, you have to work today? That's unfortunate. I'm sorry to hear that. Of course, I say that, but I myself am also working today, so there's that. Right, we were trying to get back to attempt the other divine beast. Oh, crap. Ow. I guess I probably need to go back to town. I should probably try to figure out where town is. work. Oh, it's behind me. Somehow.
wrong way, aren't I? Yeah, kind of am. All right, we want to go here. Let's do a red pin there. I think that's appropriate. Yeah, so we want to be going more this away. I already know I'd much rather stay home, but I'm glad to catch you today. Me too. I'm glad so many people from the night time are able to actually still show up and hang out. It means a lot. I'm also really glad that we've already had some people from years ago when I used to stream during the daytime rediscover the stream. That also means a lot. It is pretty amazing, but I guess that's kind of what happens when you stream for going on nine freaking years on Twitch. You meet a lot of people. Great, so I just made my way all the way back here for no apparent reason. I probably should have looked at my directions before I left. way to get to Goron City. It's actually a fair distance away, but it looks like there's a road there, so maybe what I want to do is cross over. Now this hang glider doesn't just burst into flames is beyond me, but I'm glad that it sticks around. Thought there was a road. Okay, I guess it's a road that requires a little bit of climbing. Traveled, you are not wrong. I will 
take that. There's a reason it's less traveled. Because it requires climbing off a cliff over lava. Yep. Not all roads left less traveled are desirable. In fact, I'd be willing to say that there's almost always a reason they're less traveled, like you said. And you are? I'm Pellison. Name Ensign Son. I was just thinking we needed to find one of these guys that had a name like that. I don't remember why, but I remember that it's a thing. Yep. Are you strong? You bet I'm strong. Oh, right, because he needs to work for the construction company at that new village. But my big bro Grayson is even stronger. Just a hit and run. Wish everyone a really good day full of laughter for you to enjoy a great adventure. Thank you so much, Rising. Have a wonderful day yourself. I appreciate the drive by. <laughs> My happiness is the boss's happiness, and that means it's Goron City's happiness, too. Dig, 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 and then dig some more, and then sell all that sweet, sweet ore. Hmm. That has nothing to do with you. Yeah. Grayson! What's your name? Mm -hmm. Name's Grayson. What's it to you? What about it? It's time to work now. If you want to talk, come back at night when I'm relaxing. Okay, so we found the elusive what's his name mm -hmm. that ends in song. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Actually, I guess technically speaking, I could run off and forget where he is, or we could pass a little time here. Yeah, this game is gorgeous, Jessica. I love it. This and Animal Crossing were the games that I actually got the Switch for. Which one was he? Was he this one? Yeah. Come on, I'm on break. What is it? I don't like repeating myself, though, so just remember that, okay? I'm a digger here, as you can see. I dig and I dig, day in, day out. To be honest, I'm sick of it. I feel like maybe I'm not meant to toil away in obscurity like this. Is there a job out there for me that let me use my strength to make a difference? Yes, there is, in fact. Mm hmm? Huh? There is? Where? Please tell me more. Terrytown. Hmm. Terrytown? Never heard of it. What's the deal with that place? Hmm. Hmm. Akala. Hmm. Terrytown. So there is somewhere out there that needs me. Hmm. Akala isn't too far from here. Alright, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna strike while the iron is hot. Oh. Thanks for letting me know, brother. Pellison and I are gonna head there right away. While I'm at it. Oh! Pellison, we're gonna leave. Uh? Hmm? I like that they have the turtle like shells on their back. That's pretty awesome. 
All right. Updated from the ground up. Grayson the Goron has moved to Terrytown and his younger brother Pellison tagged along for the ride. Pay the town a visit to make sure they arrived safely and check in with Hudson while you're there. There's, wait, there's a monster enclave right here, and the Gorons don't just completely annihilate them? Oh, by the way, folks, another little bit of work that I've done since, um since I started my new schedule is I actually have every single Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild VOD that I've ever streamed and I put it all on a playlist in my archive YouTube channel. So the entire thing. Now there is one problem because uh, most of those streams were from 2020 and then I didn't touch it again until this year but uh, I think the seventh stream that I did back in 2020 of this game uh, was a day that I experienced several power failures and that resulted in a bit of a broken VOD unfortunately. Now I think I think that the actual file that I uploaded I, I did my best to try and repair it and I think it's working. At least I haven't seen any errors or playback issues but it is possible there are some issues. But uh, if you are the type that likes going back and watching that kind of thing, that is, um, you know, my overlay has my YouTube address for my regular channel where I upload shorts and stuff, and uh, you can find my archives linked off of that. I will update my overlay at some point soon to include both channels, but for now just go to my regular YouTube and you'll be able to find the other one as well. Ah! I will take all of them. Ah. I'm actually getting a little low on rupees. Maybe I should be careful. I oh. should have grabbed these instead. Ooh. Okay. to do I need to get back on the road to how do we get over there there's a shrine there I guess it's got to be somewhere around here yeah it looks like there's tracks over here okay so we just want to keep following the road then Hi! here. Welcome, Master Link. Ooh. What do you mean? More importantly, I hope you made it past all those magma bombs without injury. To be honest, we haven't had too many visitors here since those magma bombs started falling from the sky. I'd be bored to tears if I didn't pass the time pretending to greet the long-lost Hillian champion. <laughs> oh, in case you didn't know, Link is the little Hillian who fought alongside the Goron champion Daruk. If you want to hear more, talk to the boss. He lives further in town. Not 
explosive, whatever it is. Am I on the right track? I am not. I went entirely the wrong way. Wow. Did you tell Yonobo that I'm canceling for today? I told him, but... Oh, good. Thanks, brother. Mm. <sighs> Nothing left for me to do but rest and try to heal fast. Okay, so it's this way. Yunobo? Yunobo? What's a Hillian like you do in trying to sniff out Yunobo? The boss asked you to? Well, if the boss sent you, I have no choice but to cooperate. If you're looking for Yunobo, he went to the Bridge of Elden. You'll find it way down this road, over the hill and past the bridge. It's past the area that's past the area that's past the Goron Hot Springs. That's where it is. Nope, I'm good. Hmm. So, past the area, that's past the area, that's past the area. It sounds straightforward enough to me. How many ice arrows do I have? Not nearly enough. Oh, and I still only have wooden bows. This is going to be fun. Seven minute warning, by the way, folks. We're gonna have ads in about seven minutes. Thank you. 
<laughs> okay, that was fun. What's up, Greg? Oh. oh, you again. Do you know Yunobu? Ah. Yunobu went to the Bridge of Elden, I think, probably. To get to Death Mountain Summit, just keep going up this hill all the way to the top. Oh. Kraken, what's going on? Just stopping in to say hi and have a good stream. Thank you so much, Kraken. It's nice to see you. I will catch you again soon. I hope you have a good day at work. Also stopping in to give my boss good reason to yell at me. She's going to yell anyway. May as well give her a reason to. Oh no. Maybe you won't notice. Second thought, tempting as it is to bypass them, I'm not actually sure where the road comes out. I'm no longer certain it was here. Kinda missed that a little bit, didn't I? Oh no, I missed something here. Okay, we have to do that. That will also coincidentally get me back on track again. minutes, folks. There might have been a reason we didn't finish this. God, back. Oh. <laughs> Mentor Straws, welcome on in. You're doing a work and lurk. I appreciate it. Oh, crap. Uh, okay, I'm not certain this is where we wanted to go after all. There's supposed to be a shrine here. 
I'll tell you what, we have ads beginning very shortly. I'm going to take a quick break. I'll be right back in about, you know, three and a half to five minutes or thereabouts. So uh, I'll run some clips. You won't miss anything. And then I'll be back and we'll figure out the rest of this shrine. I'll see what we have ready for Mr. Legrand. I know it's here somewhere. I saw it a while ago. <laughs> Freddy Krueger sweater. Not the extra science, so let's go with that. I'll try for the hanging gardens. I don't think I'm going to get it, but we'll try it. They shouldn't loot the bodies right away. Nice. One less machine. Besides, I thought she was still weirded out that the librarian is now a woman. Oh, whoa. Temple Guardian. LCM cost. Oh, okay, so Irenius finally arrived. We can found our religion. As is tradition and in accordance with prophecy, we will create our custom religion, Amism. Oh my, what? Okay, that's just cruel. What the hell? I can't fight it in here. Oh god, it's... You know what? I'm gaining stamina faster than it's draining health. And in fact, it's restoring my health, too, so this is kind of toothless. Uh-oh. Um, let's transmit this before I... Oh, my God. Oh! <laughs> oh, boy. Um, it's a good thing I wasn't planning on taking off. Uh. You step on a part of the track which is extremely narrow. <laughs> it wouldn't be so bad except the sudden stop at the end. I don't like your attitude. I'd better teach you a lesson while I bleed slowly to death right in front of you. This is gonna go great. Calmly towards an exit. Not perfect, but I'll take it. I'm a little suspicious now. Uh, I quick saved, right? So. All of your family loses 15 opinion of King Sancho II. <laughs> I 
ends King Sancho II's scheme to murder you. I have been captured and detained against my will by King Sancho. I am no longer free to return to my home or travel as I wish. This is going great. This is fantastic. I've always kind of just thought that maybe it's um, another term for fast travel. Oh my god. Okay. It is another word for fast travel, but with altitude. Got it. Wow. Okay, I was not expecting such a direct attack. A huge green fierce dragon bars the way. Large be gold interested in nuggets. The dragon doesn't seem to be interested in that. What kind of dragon are you? And now these guys are back. What the hell? There we go. Two for one. When you die, you leave behind a Neko which can be revived by other players. That's cool. Holy crap, Lady Devon! Okay, I am back. Sorry about that, folks. Now, I guess I'm safe enough to use my bows in here, because we're not directly in... in the uh, heat of the environment upstairs. So... of that be? It has to have a purpose. Thank you, Shard. Thank you, Mad. I only have 18 arrows. So I already got two chests up here. on the path to get over there, but where's the missing chest? That's not it over there, is it? it? Doesn't look like a chest, though. Actually, you know, it does look like a chest, but it looks like a chest that's already been opened.
of all these gale in here, I forgot. Okay. Uh... Let's try going down onto one of these and see what happens. Absolutely nothing, so I'm kind of screwed. Why was I able to make the first one, but not this one? the entrance. I don't want to go back there. Although, actually, maybe I kind of do. <laughs> I can't even see what it is I'm supposed to be grabbing here, so it might not be the worst idea. So I think we'll come back to this one again. Oop, right. Kidding me? Okay, you know what? No, I say. I say no. We're just gonna go straight there. <laughs> Which I probably should have done a long time ago. Okay, actually... 
Yeah, we want to go this way. Okay. And the question is, where is the actual road? It doesn't appear to be it. Hello? Road? Okay, so we have to climb. That's fair. <laughs> Let's hurry and cross the bridge, Goro. <laughs> Hold on. We need to watch out for those sentries. If one of them spots us, Redania will stomp around and cause Death Mountain to erupt. I'll follow along when you whistle, so just focus on getting us through here without being spotted by the sentries. Now, folks, because I've attempted this before and got completely lost out of my mind, I am quite willing to accept backseating on this one, if you guys wouldn't mind. I think that would actually be helpful. One of these days I need to remember to do some cooking, too. guide on this one? Yeah, I don't blame you. Oh, 
chat is willing to be my guide, it would be greatly appreciated, because I know last time I was in this area, I stumbled around for quite a while with just no idea where to go. I mean, I knew where I needed to go eventually, but how to actually get there? That was, uh, just not happening. just to be sure. Guessing that's not the way. Oh crap, and now I have to re heal up again. Lightly, Goro. Thanks. <laughs> Not figured that part out yet.
that time again. The blood moon rises once again.
so you're no help. Someday I will actually go back and finish this game. You did the elephant and the bird. Yeah, those are the same two that I've done. Technically, I've actually also done the camel. I just haven't finished the the uh, you know the battle with Ganon at the end of the Divine Beast. Bomb arrows are a terrible idea here. <laughs> Looks like there's a blue thing somewhere over there. Tap girl, the area is so hot it sets the bomb arrows off immediately.
that. I forgot they respawn. Hmm. See, it looks like it's encouraging us to go upwards. But to what purpose, I'm not sure. Let's look at the map. So Yanobu's over there. There's nothing that looks like an obvious path. And I certainly can't imagine we have to go all the way around the volcano to get back to this guy. Sentries now patrol Death Mountain to eliminate intruders. Avoid their notice as you lead Yunobu to the cannons to drive to... Oh, how did I never notice that before? As you lead Yunobu to the cannons to drive Divine Beast Varudanya into the crater. Oh my god. Okay. It makes a little bit more sense now. I'm sure once I actually start using them, it'll make a lot more sense. Right now, I can kind of vaguely picture what they have in mind. system each time you whistle I'll either stop or start moving accordingly okay great how do I whistle <laughs> that would be nice I don't think 
this cannon does us any good yet. to do. doesn't look promising is the fact that Inobu is somewhere way back up there. So I gotta go grab him again. Sir. You gotta stop stopping as soon as I get out of range. Just come on, keep on going. Keep this up, we should be able to corner Redonia. Well, get in the cannon. Where do we have to go to the next one now? Because that looks like it's a perfectly lined up shot, although it might be too far, I guess. going on? Sorry, the boyfriend's mother came by with Easter presents. What did you miss? Uh, we made our first middle progress here. 
the manager to move Maridania. CD has a go, so we get to see who Sea of Thieves is a fun one. We had a good time with that. It, Goro. Mm. And thanks to Daruk's protection, that didn't hurt me one bit, Goro. My ancestor came through for me. If we keep weakening it like this, we should be able to get inside. Don't let up, brother. on that thing, Link. It's time to finish the job. This is our big chance. That looks safe. I don't see what could possibly go wrong here. Travel gate registered to map. Hey, little guy. Long time no see. I always knew you'd come back. You know, I never stop believing in you. You're here to take control of old Radania back from Ganon, eh? You're gonna need a map that shows the guts of this place. That doesn't look creepy at all. You can grab the info from the Guidance Stone over there. Now get a move on. Okay. Do 
Do I want bomb arrows or regular arrows? I'm gonna try fire arrows. Dragon Bone Boko Club, 29-24. I can probably do something about that. interesting I don't think they've used oh, I don't think they've used darkness as a mechanic before in this game at least not that I remember Sentinel Drake, welcome in. How's it going? So I've got a backup torch there if I need one. Oh, crap. Oh, you know what? I actually... I think I remember... I think I remember the darkness area that you're referring to. There was a, like a foresty area that used it as well, wasn't there? Probably quite a bit bigger than this area is.
Okay, we have a proper break starting in roughly three minutes or so, by the way, folks. It's a three-minute warning. We will have to pause our exploration of this thing. So we can tilt it 90 degrees and go back. Divine Beast controls have been enabled. Can we turn the lights on? That would be nice. Nice job getting the map of the Divine Beast. The terminals that control Rudania are noted by the glowing points on your map. To take back Rudania, you'll need to activate all of the terminals. You got this, little guy. You calling little sir? Ah, we did get the lights on. Perfect. That's so much better. Okay. So I was curious about that. It looks like something we need to get through at some point. sees you, it does. into it because we do have the ads beginning in just a moment so uh, I'm going to take that break right now and I'll be back in just a few well that's just creepy Okay. You don't see that every day. Maybe we need to sacrifice a little bit of cheese. You fool! You've given cheese to a lactose intolerant volcano god. Do you know what that means? You brought about the coming of the divine dysentery. Run for your lives! <laughs> Nice. Wow, that was more spectacular than I'd hoped. Okay, what do I have to do with this? Oh, I think that was just the thing that delivered the thing for the thing. <laughs> what? Hey, that was not me. You have to forgive Aaron. He's discovered the far future version of Spotify. None shall pass. Ah, a red herring. Pass. Demolition, nothing to be concerned with. I 
Oops. Well, I guess I didn't really need that helicopter specifically. I've always kind of just thought that maybe it's um, another term for fast travel. Oh my god. Okay. It is another word for fast travel, but with altitude. Got it. Ready? Happy New Year! There we go. And I even have champagne to toast. Goodbye, 2021. The air in here is too cold. Okay. This is kind of encouraging. How's everything looking on your end? I'm playing on Ultra Max, everything set to the highest level it can possibly go to. It looks real good on my end. I do have um, I do have the resolution set to 1080. I'm playing on 1080. So, I don't know, we'll see. All of your family loses 15 opinion of King Sancho the <laughs> Second. Ends King Sancho the Second scheme to murder you. I have been captured and detained against my will. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. All right, let's see what we have going on here. Oh, okay. Sketchy. No, it's not Zelda. You're probably using a Kappa. My community will not let me unban Kappa. There are four terminals remaining. That's the way. But welcome on in, Groovy. poke around a little bit. I know we can use the controls and we can, uh, we can do stuff. So we get as much done before we start messing with that as I can. Looks good. Let's see what's over in there. 
sort of. Okay, it looks like there's more stuff we can burn in there. Actually. Seems there is a reason that they gave us a metal bow. Luckily, that's just a garbage bow, so if it ends up burning up and getting destroyed, it's not the end of the world. So that'll be one of our terminals there. Idea sketchy actually. I have a kind of vague memory that there's some sort of crafting element to the game, but I'm not super familiar with that part of it. terminals remaining. All right, let's get moving. Okay, then.
I can, but the contents are, you know, my inventory is full, so there's no point. It's only got the two orientations? That's weird. Which is going to be a problem, actually.
five freaking months and also for confirming that despite the fact that my alerts work perfectly well in testing they're still not working live on stream i don't get it that's really weird but thank you thank you how are you doing jarek it's really good to see you thank you so much for all the support it needs the world Nostalgia just hits different. How so, Kraken? Not to fall asleep after a nice big Easter pizza. What is an Easter pizza? I mean, it sounds delicious, but I've never heard of this. You finished the main game last night, Greeny. I am so jealous. Awesome. Well done. since it's Easter and all. Okay, got it. That's fair. I gotta be honest, I always forget that Easter's a thing until Easter's a thing. So now that you've finished Baldur's Gate 2 main game, Greeny, are you going to go on and finish Throne of Ball as well, or are you going to move on with the Neverwinter Nights thing? Night. Never went your night's thing is chronologically after Baldur's Gate 2. 20 years before Baldur's Gate 3, really? That's interesting.
are two terminals remaining. Just a little more. Ten years, cause it's a module that's supposed to parallel descent into Avernus. Ah, oh, gotcha, okay. Take a look at this map again. It looks like there's another terminal up top. I'll have to go up there. And we have to figure out this room by the entrance that looks very much like it is not accessible from inside. Which kind of makes me a little nervous. Thing and then see if we can get outside. I'm gonna try flipping it while I'm in here. See how bad an idea this is. Any excuse to get a pizza I can make up? I mean, that's reasonable, honestly.
Gonna go back, no worries, Sketchy. Thank you for showing up. I appreciate it. Catch you again soon. Oh god. Okay. Okay, what's the worst that can happen? Just one terminal remaining. Just one more. Just one. Okay.
way the heck over here. I don't see anything that looks like an entrance to that room on this. Hang on. No. Okay. It's easier than I thought it was going to be. Last terminal. Now go ahead and start up the main control unit. Okay. There should be a new glowing mark on your map. You're gonna need to make your way over to that. I'm way ahead of you, buddy. Stay focused, little guy.
crack is Dan and Candy work. Things got best to be a hundred years ago. Good luck, little guy. Go get him! Okay, well... What? Nope, we can't use these. That sword! What? Yeah, the problem with healing right now is I really don't have a whole lot in the way of meals prepared, so I'm kind of expecting we're just going to have to fight this guy, die, go cook a bunch of stuff, come back and try again. And that's that's okay by me. I'm alright with that. I might also try doing some of the temples that I skipped because they were major tests of strength. So to be able to do those a little more easily. Lay it on, little guy. I'm dodging. Really to dodge when I'm trying to murder you. this. That flaming ball is dangerous. You don't say. Tricks, hints, suggestions. 
it's all broken at the moment. I think I did okay in the first part of the battle, but now what the heck do I do? seems to affect him for microseconds, but it doesn't seem to be helping in much of any other kind of way. that, Ganon. This is not good. Uh, I guess I'm going back to these. Okay. <laughs> nice bow, bro. 
Only four arrows left, and I'm kind of dying. We finally did it. It only took two and a half years. Your life force has been strengthened, increasing your number of hearts by one. <sighs> Come on. Once you activate the main control unit, you will not be able to re enter the interior of this divine beast. Yes, I do. Great work, little guy! The Rook Goron Champion. I owe you big for this. Because of you, my spirit is finally free. Can't thank you enough. I feel like I should apologize. I was doing all I could to protect Hyrule when that thing got the best of me. Sorry that me wrestling with the rubble caused such a mess. The good news is, Ruthania is now back under our control. That means that our century-old Ganon beatdown plan can finally go into effect. <laughs> I'm gonna take this down the mountain. I'll have a better shot at Ganon there. And then, once you've made your way into Hyrule Castle, we're gonna light that thing up. You said it, sir. I want to give you something. It's a special power of mine called Daruk's Protection. It's no good to me now that I'm a spirit, but it might be useful for you. Here it comes! Oh, damn. From this moment forth, the power of protection from the depths of my soul, now lives inside you. Good luck, little guy. And give my regards to the princess. That was pretty cool. So we finally, officially, properly beat this divine beast.
wait for the perfect shot. You got Once it, Once Link sir. is in the castle, Plutonia will unleash an epic blast. Ganon won't know what hit him. Hyrule looks pretty good from up here. Even after a hundred years. The old rolling grounds sure are a sight for sore eyes. I wonder how the Gorons fared after the Great Calamity. I sure hope everyone down there is still going strong after every... Huh? Hey! Look at that! Still going strong indeed! Ha! That's a great one. I love this guy. <gasps> Two minute warning on ads, by the way. I'll be taking a break very shortly. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> uh, okay, now that that's done, I think what we are going to do is we're going to start to gear up a little bit we're gonna cook up a little bit and we're going to need to tackle some of those shrines because i need to learn the combat techniques that you need to beat lightning guy and the camel a protective power containing the perfect defense of the champion daruk it will automatically protect you from all manner of attacks as long as you're holding lz or zl <laughs> Okay, so that's pretty easy. And it looks like that's perfectly timed. It looks like it's about time to take that break, so if you guys will bear with me, I actually need to go and make some tea, so this might be a slightly longer break than usual. And then I will be back, and we will go, and we will start a massive training montage to get ready to take on Ganon in, or at least, you know, the Shadow of Ganon in the, uh, the Camel Divine Beast. So I'll be back in just a few. Can't get much closer, game. Way to go, Pathfinder. As you plunge towards the base of the cliff, mommy escapes your lips. Way to go, Wingnut. Once again, you've demonstrated your inability to sustain life. You quickly glance around the room to see if anyone saw you blow it. Thank you for playing Space Quest 2, Roger. You've been swell to watch. Have a nice day. Use my cleverness to outsmart the trap. <laughs> <laughs> then I use my cleverness to hide. But. Oh my god! Don't you think so? Hey, it's Cal Katarn! <laughs> what? Hey, it's Cal Katarn! That's amazing! Hey, it's Cal Katarn! Hey, it's Cal Katarn! Hey, it's Cal Katarn! I'm bigger than him! I'm no bully! Give me some more lemonade, you little chiseler. Give me some more lemonade, you little chiseler. That'll be a nickel. What? You idiot. This isn't very refreshing. I guess you forgot about our bottomless mug policy. Thank you.
There we go. Oh. There. Now we. There we go. Oh, is the body of the dog alerting her, even though I don't have the opportunity to move it? That certainly seems to be her goal. This can't be the original entry room, can it? That's what I was just thinking, Greeny. This looks completely different. The lighting is so different. This is that trap room, isn't it? Where the gas comes out and everything's really dangerous. Lighting makes such a huge difference. Holy crap, it looks so different. in that hole just enjoyed lunch on you. This should teach you to be cautious when encountering alien holes. Thank you for playing Space Quest. Too bad you failed miserably. <laughs> Is it break time again? Ah! <laughs> oh my god. It's made of wood, it should float. I can't reach that from here. 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 Well, crap. How about a swordfish? I guess I'll be needing a sword. This one will do. <laughs> so you can just pick up the anchor well, and walk that away. Wasn't so hard. <laughs> wow. The distinctive shape tells me this is the rare endangered Malay Island mop handle tree. Several hours later. Go. <laughs> Just go around doing stuff and oops. <laughs> oh, that was good. I'm gonna find the secret of Monkey Isle. Wanna come? I heard the secret is just some marketing gimmick stand torn up that only the gullible and naive would go looking for it. 
me about Loom. Oh, I'm so sick of pirates asking me about Loom. Get lost. <laughs> it's called How to Get Ahead in Navigating. What? Oh my god. It looks like instructions on how to get ahead. We could give him our head and use these instructions to get ourselves a new one. Yes, I suppose we can give you this now. Thanks. But well, that was unexpected. That was unexpected. <laughs> Magic from a time long forgotten. Remind me not to take a dump in that hole. Do you really have to make jokes? Yeah, it's in my contract. <laughs> oh. Uh. Okay, sorry about that, folks. I am back. I have tea. I still have some coffee. I think we're all set. So, let's take a look around the map and see if we've got some stuff that we haven't finished, other than this one, because that was annoying. Um, we were also, I think, doing some sort of scouting out around here to see if there are new temples and things like that that I haven't yet finished or discovered to begin with. That is... Oh, major test of strength. Okay, so we're going to go there. give that a shot. Then we'll probably have to go back to one of the villages or something like that. Maybe the one where I've got my house and um, we'll do a little bit of cooking. We might also have to scout around a little bit for ingredients. I think I'll probably try to do more of that off screen than I am, but you know, since we're now gearing up and really officially headed into the end game. Where are we? We want cold weather gear, so we want that. We want that. And it looks like that's pretty good, so we're going to go with our traditional mask. Although, if this is a major test of strength, we probably want to do... probably want to do armor. Oh, interesting. It's a very watery test of strength. It's not a bad time to do it. I still have my attack up from the battle in the Divine Beast. So let's get our armor gear on. It is indeed, Jarek. It's Majora's Mask. I don't have nearly enough 
arrows left for this. Guardian swords left. Crap. Um, I do have this. Oh, that's a pretty good one, actually. We're gonna go with that one. TTS is calling you a jerk. <laughs> Royal Claymore, a two-handed sword issued to the Hyrulean royal family's immediate guard detail. Its powerful strikes are said to crush an opponent's body and resolve alike. Thank you very much. Triumph 
For the test of strength subverts a prophecy of ruin. From the ashes of Hyrule, a hero rises. In the name of the goddess Hylia, I bestow upon you the spirit orb. going to go to Kakariko Village next because if I'm not mistaken, is that not the village where you get your tutorial on the special combat techniques? I think there's a repeatable shrine that you can learn stuff at. If I'm not mistaken, it was the tutorial that Nega Oryx famously didn't know existed. Which I also really don't particularly know existed. Oh wait, what do we have to do here? We're not done with Varudanya. What? Bluto in Goron City. Seeing this, a relieved Yunobo returned to his home in Goron City. You should go there and tell Bluto all that has happened. Okay, okay. We can do that. I just had to take a minor time out to deal with, you know, a shrine. But no big deal. When your hearts are full, you can fire a beam from the sword with R. The more heart containers you have, the further the beam will travel. Okay. You, you know Bo told me about everything. You really are something else, brother, you know that? I can't believe you conquered Redania. Color me impressed. Mm. But good grief, did you have to do it just when my back pain went away? I was already and raring to go at Redania myself. Now you've gone and made it look like I was just fibbing about my back pain this whole time. Imagine that. Me. <laughs> Oh, and I'm also happy to see that Yunobo finally got his act together. I know that's your doing as well. But enough back padding and other such nonsense. Take a look at this. The divine beast Valrudanya has calmed down and returned to his peaceful ways. Now we can get back to digging for ore around Death Mountain. Ooh! All right, I've still got to thank you, brother. There's some treasure in my house. Grab it. Keep it. It's yours. It's a sharp blade that Daruk himself once wielded. I'm sure you'll be able to make good use of it. <laughs> However, well, as a Hillian, you probably already know this, but apparently 100 years ago, the Hillian champion had a legendary blade, the sword that seals the darkness. <laughs> that said, you've got a rather fine blade already, don't you? Come to think of it, you look just like the Hillian champion who fought the Calamity alongside Daruk. <laughs> Divine Beast Varudanya complete. Thank you so much, Pluto. I don't see any treasure. I think he was lying to me. Might just be in this chest. Boulder Breaker. This two handed weapon was once wielded by the Goron champion Daruk. Daruk made swinging it around look easy, but a Hillian would need an immense amount of strength. <laughs> and of course, my inventory is full, because why would it not be full? I think we can probably ditch this thing. Burn. 
Now, while we're here in town, I'm going to start trying to rebuild my stockpile of arrows. Although, I really don't have a whole lot of money, so that might be easier said than done. forward anyway. I think we need to go back to... Where are we going? We're going to Kakariko. That's hot. No. Ah, Kakariko. Here we go. They're in a volcano and selling ice arrows. They are masters of refrigeration. Another thing we have to do, I, I didn't see the solution to this, but... There's a particular temple around here, where is it, that I really want to open up. Friend of the channel, Lunity, has been playing through Breath of the Wild recently as well, and I saw her struggling all over the place with this particular one. And I never figured this out. And I didn't see whether or not she ever actually figured it out, but we need to get this one done. There's a puzzle to it. So we need to find a ball to put in here, and I assume at this point, because we've looked basically everywhere else, it's gotta be somewhere in the village. For that, in addition to the other stuff we need to do around town, like visiting the shrine and whatnot. Hey, Space Vikings, how's it going? This game took me a week to complete and an extra two for exploring the world? That's taken me a little bit longer. I started playing back in mid-2020. You who have conquered the shrines and claimed their spirit orbs. In exchange for four spirit orbs, I will amplify your being. So tell me what it is that you desire. I'm trying to figure out if there are any issues with it because you can't find any so far. Nice focus. Go and bring peace to Hyrule.
Oh my god, it was there the whole frickin' time? Ah. That Chica heirloom has been guarded by our tribe for generations. I must request that you not touch it. Even for an esteemed guest such as yourself, there are certain rules that must be respected. You may not remember your last meeting with Ganon, but it did not end well for you. If you want a different outcome this time around, you'll need to be properly equipped. The four divine beasts are the ancient Chica weapons wielded by the four champions who Ganon defeated. The divine beast Valradanya, controlled by the Daruk of the Gorons. The divine beast Vamado, controlled by the Ravali of the Rito. The divine beast Varuta, controlled by Mipha of the Zora. And the divine beast Vanaboris, controlled by Yorbosa of the Gerudo. Oh. It would be extremely ill-advised to face Ganon without the power of the divine beasts to help you. You must infiltrate the divine beasts that were stolen away by Ganon 100 years ago and bring them back to our side. More information about these divine beasts can be found by locating the four races scattered across Hyrule. Okay. Yeah. The Sheikah Slate will guide you on your way. You must go where it tells you and meet with each leader there. All I can tell you is what took place and so I shall. I shall tell you all that I know. Once, oh. I have to do all of the memories before I can get oh. the heirloom, can't do, don't I? I've got three left to get. I've never had a Mac before, so it might be a good opportunity to learn. Yeah, I've got a very old MacBook Air. It's like 2011 or so. So, uh, you know, I can do some stuff with it. It's not exactly the most tedious thing ever at this point, but it's not bad for getting familiar with Mac OS. Forgot how long this game takes after two years? Yeah. Alright, well... I guess in order to unlock that shrine, we're gonna have to do some more stuff. I never really do elixirs, so I'm kind of tempted to sell a bunch of this stuff. Yeah, I think a 
I'll focus more over here. These things. Mm -hmm. They seem a little more profitable. Oh. Okay, we're starting to get back to a decent level of money again. Octorock eyeball, nice. You guys have uh, oh. kept up with the news on Tears of the Kingdom, right? How unbelievably cool they look. Mom. The crafting and all. I don't want to get too much into it, just in case there are people who are trying not to get spoiled. So I won't say any more, but man, it looks really good. can sell food, too. I guess it hadn't really occurred to me. Okay, that'll fund us on archery oh. for a little while. That's good. Oh. Ma. Ah. Ah. Excellent. Okay. So for fire arrows, at least we're doing all right now. Now, it looks like there's not a whole lot more we can do here in Kakariko Village, so I think we're going to go to Hot now. They might have bomb arrows there. I don't remember off the top of my head. We need to get as many different types of arrows as possible, though. Expensive they are, apparently. <laughs> 35 bombs, that's not half bad. We didn't get as many fire arrows as I was kind of hoping we might. So, we need to do a little bit of cooking. I'm not going to spend too, too long on the cooking. We're going to do raw gourmet meat. A raw bird drumstick. And we're going to try to boost the number of hearts we get here.
guess we'll just go with that. Um, Skewer, full recovery plus four temporary hearts. I tried to cook like Link, it was raw. Oh no. So we'll do some surf and turf here. Which sounds nasty to me, but you know. I'm not the one that has to eat it, so that's okay. Skewer. <laughs> so that's four, and we'll do green herb. Okay. Hearty meat skewer. That's probably good for now. We'll have to do more later, but I just don't want to sit here for a million years cooking and doing nothing else. stuff we've got to do, but we need to head back to Akala. We have some stuff on the go. We need to revisit Tarrytown. Oh. You sent some Gorons back here. That's perfect. The brute strength of a Goron is undeniable. Those boulders don't stand a chance against them, and with names like Grayson and Pellison, they'll fit right in. Also, Pellison started selling the ore found within the boulders. You should go say hello again. Mm. Well, next is... So before more people can move here, we need homes for them to live in. Can you bring me 20 bundles of wood? 
If you bring me that, I can combine it with what I've already got and get started on new houses. Alright, let's talk to the Gorons first. Well, it looks like they've already got a pretty good start on the house building. Hey, it's you. As you can see, I'm working real hard. <laughs> Hudson praises me a ton for breaking these rocks. We're finding some nice ore, too. My little brother, Pellison, even started an ore shop. Check it out when you get a chance. Oh, I ran right by him. Hey, big bro Grayson's friend. Need something? Oh, okay, so we can uh, we can sell stuff here too. That's handy. But you do not yet have four spirit orbs. Okay. Ooh. Hurry up and bring me 20 bundles of wood, will you? I want to get to building. I don't have enough supplies in the storehouse to build houses yet. Alright, so how much do I have? <laughs> 19! Wow. Alright. So close. come back after you cut them down, right? Like, eventually. I'm not necessarily thinking right away, but at some point they do. Yeah, I like the effect it has in-game. I have never actually played Majora's Mask the game, but I like the mask in this game. too deep in because of the active guardians. That'll do it. Just think, if I hadn't made that unnecessary campfire inside the guardian, or inside the divine beast rather, I wouldn't have had to come down here and murder another tree. It's probably faster this way, so I'm gonna just go back there.
You're a lifesaver. Um, well, next is... Working such long hours every day really wears on my clothes. Could you look for someone who's got a gift for tailoring for me? Mm. <laughs> if we're talking about tailoring, they could be someone among the Gerudo who's good at that. Good luck. You'll need it. This seems like a real long shot. Oh, and one last wrinkle. Yeah, in accordance with the official Bolson construction policy, that someone's name must end in sun. If you run into anyone who fits with what I've said, send them here to Terrytown for me. <sighs> From the ground up, you've delivered more wood to Hudson, but now we need someone who can mend his work clothes. He wants you to find a Gerudo skilled at sewing, but remember the stipulation in the Bolson Construction Hiring Guidelines. The Gerudo's name must end in sun. Okay, then. Oh, no. I guess we're going back to the desert. we really need the costume now that we've done oh actually no we haven't done we have we haven't finished the camel yet so i guess we probably still need the costume gem contains its own special power. Wear what? Wearing one will grant you a form of protection. For example, sapphires offer resistance to intense heat, and rubies have the power to resist chilling temperatures. I am able to craft circlets or earrings that channel these powers to protect the wearer. Mm. Sadly, the materials to make such items are difficult to get a hold of. That's why you have to bring me the materials. It'll take some time, but there's nothing that'll satisfy you more than that. <laughs> oh, and don't forget that Bo and Vaya Light can enjoy these. They're great gifts if you want to impress someone. Okay. Isha, unfortunately, does not end in sun, and it sounds like she's more of a jeweler than a tailor. Hotel hey. Oasis with a croissant. Rita. Ah. Eston. What do you eat for lunch? Meat. Good choice. You've got great taste. Excellent. <laughs> Hey, lady, be sure to buy a lot of stuff, okay? I really recommend fire arrows. If you shoot them at something, <laughs> boosh. Flames everywhere. I could really use some ice arrows ah. more than anything. Oh. Man, I thought I was getting a decent amount of money. Ah. Mm. Thank you. 
Pantera. Doorway isn't for customers, actually. If you're a member, please head around at the door on your side. On the side. Oh. What's the password? Oh. Mm hmm. Oh. Go drink milk in the bar or something. <laughs> So we need to get that password at some point. The person we need is probably over there. Lava. Freli. the shelves in there cut out of the wall that's pretty cool Can't carry more melee weapons. I really need to figure out that's another thing I should do I need to figure out where that guy is that I can trade in my Korok seeds for more inventory space let's see if I can do this I've got a bunch of seeds on me. I just haven't run into the guy in a billion years. Also, about four minute warning, guys. We're going to take another break in about four minutes. Ads will run, but clips will be playing, so you will not miss anything. on where I should go look for the guy. The big plant-like being that trades in Korok seeds. I thought he was supposed to be around here somewhere, but I don't remember this part of the game well, because I haven't played it in two and a half years. side quest. Guy of the Karakara Bazaar needs a cooling elixir to beat the heat. Medicine is combined, made by combining a bug with chilling effects with monster parts. Okay, I can probably make one of those. Man, I have a lot of quests. What the heck?
Oh, oh. I think... Is this him? Could that be? I think that's him. I think it's also time for me to take a break, though, so we'll have to talk to him as soon as I get back. If you guys need to get up, grab some food or a drink or a snack or something, now's a real good time to do it. I'm going to go take about three and a half minutes or so to grab a break. Ads will play. Clips will run over top of them, so you're not going to miss any gameplay, and I will be back very shortly. Hello. Thanks, guys. Thanks. I appreciate that. Oh my god, what on earth? Wow. I'm not finding that body. Oh crap. <laughs> oh. I thought for a moment I was going right into the water. again. So it's not actually tied to the bridge then. Ow! How did you not see me? Wow. Besides, I thought she was still weirded out that the librarian is now a woman. Oh, whoa. Temple Guardian. Calcium cost. Imagine, if you will, taking a bath in sulfuric acid and using pumice for a washcloth. After that bit of displeasure passes, it gets much worse as the acid slowly eats its way to the last critical organs. Finally, mercifully, death takes you. Oh, you son of a... I did not mean for this to get... Maritime Measures In the great maritime city of Babylon, the introduction of standardized units has not been well received. Already mistakes have been made with quantities of materials and engineering calculations. Shipbuilders and merchants alike warn that their commercial interests will be harmed if they are forced to adopt the new measurements. Should they be given an exemption? Hell fucking no. Enforce. The city will need to adapt even if it harms industry. We'll need authority oversight to ensure compliance. Lock down on Babylon for 20 turns. Okay, sorry about that. I, um... I have made a few changes to the way I do the game capture stuff because of reasons, and so I guess that's a little bit, like, I'm a little bit different. Is it Has it always been that way? Or is this a new thing as of today? Thank you, Enstara. Thank you, Vikings. If you'll return my lost Korok seeds to me, I'll expand the size of your inventory. Which stash do you want another slot in? Weapon stash, please. 12 seeds. Yes, you can have that. Yay. 
Yay. Let's take a look at my inventories. I could probably use more bows, honestly. Yeah, I definitely need more bows. Okay. New as of today. Okay, yeah, I thought so. I thought so. Oh. You probably want to hear the game again now, though. See, that's what I mean. It's a little bit of a problem, but it'll be easy to fix. until I get more Korok seeds. <laughs> not okay that's it now a bit quiet but audible okay well in that case what I can do is I'll put this back on but I can drop that down now how is that is that good or is it still too loud seems good okay What's this? What's this? A voice beckoned you here? I see. So the time has come. Oh, the great Deku tree. Right, I forgot all about him. I shall now tell you all I know about the arduous trial that awaits you. That sword you have reunited with, the master sword, it has yet to realize its true splendor. This trial shall test your courage to ensure you are worthy of this splendor. It is called the Trial of the Sword. It will challenge you as you have never been challenged before. All of your weapons and armor will be sealed away. You must face your enemies without the tools you've come to rely on. Once you have tempered your soul and proven your wisdom and courage by completing the Trial of the Sword, the Master Sword shall truly be yours. Hmm, unless my eyes deceive me, you seem quite willing to take on this trial, a hero through and through. Now, Link, place the Master Sword in its pedestal. Should I try this? Am I strong enough to do this? Updated EX Trial of the Sword. According to the Great Deku Tree, the Master Sword's true splendor is yet to be awakened. To do so, you must conquer the Trial of the Sword. Challenge the Trial of the Sword by placing the Master Sword in its pedestal.
Oh, they're not kidding. They really take everything. To the blade's chosen hero, in the name of the goddess Hylia, I offer the trial of the sword. You presently lack the power necessary to wield the true splendor of the master sword. Really? You must fortify your mind, body, and soul by eradicating all obstacles that appear in this realm. In this illusory realm of sacred mystery, anything can happen. All that you obtain here will be lost upon your return to the reality you know. Chosen hero of the Master Sword, overcome the trial of the sword and claim the blade's true splendor. Okay, so I thought for a moment that it was just going to go and tell me that, you know, huh, actually, no, you can't do the trial of the sword yet. Just kidding. You're not strong enough to do it. Okay, so let's see what we can find around here. That's the arrival spot. I don't see anything up the tree. Okay, so not really much of anything going on inside the trees here. I know Greeny did this trial relatively recently. I'm kind of wishing now that I had paid a little more attention. Unfortunately, I am extremely good at not remembering things that I see when people are doing them on streams. So they've got some decent weaponry over there. Whoops. <laughs> so much for their decent weaponry. They stole my weapons. How rude of them. Take that. So it actually ended up kind of working. Not bad. And I got the most useful of all the weapons they could have given me. Because now I can use it to bash apart their containers and see what's inside.
They lost me. That's amazing. Whoops. Oh, well. Okay, so we've made some progress. I assume this is not the end of the trial. That seems way too easy. Nothing in the walls I can do. Much bigger encampment now. Underground floor two, beginning trials. like at least four plus the fire dude So I've got arrows. I need to claim the bow. Now these guys, they can't actually seem to get back up here. Which is interesting. Ow. I already have arrows. Don't give me yours that way. I mean, I'll take them from you. Thank you. Appreciate that. So I guess I have to kill the fire thing too.
not difficult, apparently. So does anybody happen to know how many levels of this there are before you're finished? So this isn't so bad, but it does seem to be ramping up the difficulty each time. Extinguish your arrow worked well. <laughs> oh, look at that. That's interesting. If you guys don't mind, I could use a little bit of a fire lift up here. so good with climbing the trunk and so bad at navigating branches. Just go very slow. Easy. Easy. Nope. Nope. Damn it. Link. What the hell, sir? If he wants to come over, detect me, and start a massive bonfire right underneath me so that I can get some massive lift with the hang glider, that'd be pretty cool, actually. Ah! Hi. Hey. Excuse me. Hello? This throwing weapon was originally used by the forest-dwelling Koroks. Its unique shape allows it to return after being thrown. Okay. You have served your purpose now. Thank you very kindly.
Oh, damn it. <laughs> I didn't notice there was another chest. Oh, well, that's okay. Classic Zelda weapon? Yeah, I, I have very vague memories of a boomerang from Wind Waker, and I don't remember if I ever got one in the original Legend of Zelda. Yeah, I never played Ocarina of Time. I gotta be honest, I really was not a huge fan of most of the classic Zelda games. I liked the first one, and I liked Wind Waker a lot. Never really had any interest in most of the others. Damn it, I'm out of arrows. against him. I'm going to want something a little pointier. Back off, sir. I have a stick and I'm not afraid to use it. Ah! Nope. Ah! Cheater. That would have been really impressive if I hadn't just completely missed everything I was aiming at. Gimme. Ow. Rude. Okay, well, at least we can do this again knowing that there's a second chest in the fire forest. Oh, I didn't realize that. Metal weapons create sparks that can be used to light a fire. That is... Honestly, pretty cool. Okay. Sword Monk Shrine. So, how many levels of this are there, by chance? Does anybody know?
Ah, uh, crap. Stole your club. Ow. Get out of my face. Don't even think about it. That's my spear. Okay, I can only seem to go so far. Really doesn't like that branch. This one seems a little better. Oh, crap. Okay. Not the best. Not the best. Somewhere, where might you be? Tell you what, because I'm such a nice guy, I'm going to return your arrows to you. Slightly more used. 
but just as good. This is the fire one next, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yeah. Okay, so, yeah, there's... It was right there. I don't know why I didn't spot that right away. But it looks like there's at least the two chests. So I'm going to lure them over here, because this one looks like it's more awkward to get to, because there are no really big trees nearby. So we'll see what we can do to get that. Make some fire. Start some crap. Do the thing. Make a draft. Could really use your help. You're not being very cooperative, sir. You suck as a fire monster. Oh, there we go. That, that's... A little underwhelming, to be honest, but... Oh, that looks a little more promising. Come on now. There we go. Oh, okay. Here we are. Thank you. Nice. Nope, nope, nope. Can I please? There we go. Oh, damn it. A little closer over here. There should be one more. Hello? Am I mistaken? Nope, there you are. Oh, rude. I thought I was done.
There we go. Well, I know. That was not a blood-curdling stream. That was just your imagination. Oh. <laughs> I'll have to go get that one back again. He's further away than I thought he was. Nice. have many arrows left. You know, for a trial that focuses on a sword, it really seems to give you just about every weapon but. Well, I guess technically I do have that one. Throw the boomerang. I, I got to admit, I have no idea how to actually do that. Or I can do that. That would also work. Oh, crap. Oh my god, what is up here? Somebody's up here. Turn around. It's awfully boring looking that way all the time, isn't it? You want to turn around some. Oh, God. Off you go, sir. <laughs> Okay, let's see if I can figure this out. Our shoulder button with A to catch. 
Apparently the monster was not for turning. No, it was not X-Wing. Thank you, Mio. I appreciate it. Not a very good weapon. It's really not doing much. Not a big fan. Okay, that was not as explosive as I had hoped. Okay, in fairness, these arrows are also not doing as much as I had hoped. So maybe I won't crop on the boomerang just yet. Lots of basic food, but I can't seem to cook yet, so... Uh, no, actually, I just finished my third Divine Beast X-Wing. Where do you think you're going? Excuse you, sir. Ah. Well, that's annoying. Oh. Fine. That works. Now, I had lost an arrow back here somewhere. I wonder if it's still around. There we go.
Oh, crap. So nobody has any idea how many of these there might be, huh? Oh, you're not supposed to know I'm here. Rude, sir. What? Oh my god. Twelve levels? Oh god. Alright. <laughs> I hope there's a method of cooking at some point. I mean, I, I suppose I have trees around. I could potentially make a fire and cook stuff. Except you need more than just a fire, don't you? Oh, there we go. That's one way to cook. Baked apple. I see explosives. I see crates. I see ore. I don't yet see monsters. I'm sure that's going to show up. I hate it when I'm right. Oh, crap. Oh boy. All right. Okay. Okay. Excuse you, sir. I now think I understand the purpose of the explosive barrels.
gonna take so much. There's no way. <laughs> right, don't throw explosive barrels into a fire. <laughs> Maybe we'll come back to that another time. I think we've got to work on a few other things, too. We still have some more major tests of strength and whatnot. We also have Ed starting in roughly a minute or two. So I'm going to take my last break of the evening or the afternoon, I guess. And uh, I'll be back in about three and a half to five minutes. So if you need to get up, grab some food or a drink or a snack or something, now's a real good time. A huge, green, fierce dragon bars the way. Large be gold interested in nuggets. The dragon doesn't seem to be interested in that. What kind of dragon are you? Whoa! Um, oops, that was maybe not my best move. Wow. That's it? That's your best? Damn you. Did, wait, did the Rana just raise my corpse? Rude. <laughs> so once she's regained her ability to take action, I'm going to bring her back and she can deliver the stuff that she's collected to us. <laughs> At least he's enclosed. <laughs> Oh my god, we get the Battle of the Titans. It's the T-Rex versus the uh, Triceratops. At least until T-Rex gets tranked. These guys have got a hell of a show. I haven't had Prime Rambit in a while. I think I should see if I can possibly make that happen at some point. I'll see what we have ready for Mr. Legrand. I know it's here somewhere. I saw it a while ago. <laughs> Freddy Krueger sweater. I can't quite squeeze past this cannon. Oh, interesting. <laughs> well, they've messed with the wrong skull this time. <laughs> Can I call you Bob? <laughs> you may call me Murray. I am a powerful demonic force. I am the harbinger of your doom. And the forces of darkness will applaud me as I stride through the gates of hell, carrying your head on a pike. Stride? That was real cool. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's my home too. I doubt that. Bye, Haley. Hope to see you again.
best outfit in the game. That's all you need to know. Yeah. Now, you tell me when you're ready, and get started. <laughs> what? <laughs> um. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm ready when you are. What? <laughs> uh, um. We ready? Happy New Year! There we go. And I even have champagne to toast. Goodbye, 2021. Oh my god! Okay, and I'm back. Uh, okay, so let me see. We found the guy. I got my inventory expanded. We did a few attempts at... Uh, we did a few attempts at the Master Sword Challenge. We will get back to that at some point. That really wasn't why I was here, though. It's really fun, though. I, I'm kind of enjoying the challenge, I have to admit. But... Actually, this area... We still have to get some of these... This isn't the right area for this, is it? The air looks the wrong color. The test of wood, forest exit shortcut. A note from Maka. Just climb into this tree's mouth to leave the forest. I promise it won't eat you. I think we'll go the regular way out. I want to check the area for uh, secret areas anyways. I need to find a memory and I think one of them might be in this region. Possibly, potentially. Am I mistaken about that? That's why they give you the shortcut. You know, I've had a change of heart. Let's go use the shortcut after all. Okay. 
Lost Woods. Very creepy. Really? Ow. Um, what? Oh, <laughs> I wandered too far into the wood. Great. So we have to go out by the road, which means we're going to be attacked every two seconds by... What's-his-faces? Okay, this looks less scary. It also looks more like this forest than the other one, so... The trick is gonna be seeing... anything whatsoever. <laughs> that looks familiar enough to actually try to ID... A memory. But it, it seems unlikely that it would just be in the middle of a road. So I don't think it's going to be right here. Kind of doubt it's right in this media area. Whoops. Oh, so the woodcutter's axes do get damaged over time. I was starting to wonder if that was just going to last forever. Thank you. 
right, let's see what we get up here. I'm not sure if I've been up here before or not. here to help with that okay so it kind of looks like we are climbing back up towards the volcano we did, we're pretty much done with that now i think so we don't really need to go there uh we do have a stable down there might be good to visit that i still haven't forgotten about our sort of minor mission to locate the easel guy and get some clues about these memory locations so that would be good if we could do that Woodland Shrine. Whoops. That was not what I was planning. Hearty salt grilled prime meat, full recovery plus two. I'm going to do the same thing, only I'm going to use gourmet meat this time. Really? Hearty salt grilled gourmet. Wow. So it's better to use the prime meat than the gourmet meat. Good to know. Same thing. Hearty salt grilled prime meat. That's bizarre. What? salt grilled fish. If we just use regular raw meat, how does it turn out? Salt grilled meat. 
Wow. Okay, so it doesn't really make much of a difference then. In a good way. It's still pretty awesome. Sir? to interrupt an old man looking over his grandchild you must be in need of something you aren't from around here are you when you get to be my age you can tell just by looking at people's faces this here woodland stable borders the Elden region and Hyrule field it's a central fixture for travelers there's also the great Hyrule forest which is where the stable got its name is right over yonder oh. thank you sir um more in need of an artist but I don't see anybody of that description around here sadly who might you be Karsh of the Gerudo. Remember that name. No promises. It's been quite a while since I left home to go on this journey, but my passion hasn't gone down one bit. You know who else has endurance like that? The Gorons. Maybe one of them would be a match for me. Daytime. Oh. Yeah, you're a skeleton. What are you doing up here in the daytime? <laughs> Hi there, I'm Boldon, Goran City's Ambassador of Tourism. Goron City's great. Everyone should visit it at least once in their lives, but even the greatest cities have their problems. There was someone looking for a Goron just up ahead. Oh, hi. Ow! Rude! remember to go back to that place again every now and then after I get a bunch of seeds. The extra inventory space sure is nice. Z. 
is a very distinctive looking tree. We gotta check it out. Oh, hello. Who might you be? Hi! Hey, man. Back for some more shield surfing? Couldn't stay away, could you? Oh, and if you don't have your own shield, we've got some lying around here you can buy if you wanna. If people don't start buying them soon, this gang will go out of business. Gang. What? Wow. You can't even fly there fast enough? That's... Honestly, that's a pretty impressive challenge, then. Sense who shield serves, really. How's it going, Mr. Soggy Roman? It's good to see you. Um, we could always check out the pond here, I guess. Almost forgot to stop by. That's okay. Life happens. Especially on days off. Oh, crap. I see you there. Or saw you there. So I think what we're looking for, as far as minerals go, we need to find three diamonds. Because that was the price for the circlet that I wanted in Gerudo Town. Also, since you changed your schedule, yeah, that's true. That is true. everywhere here. What the heck? Hey! 
What's up, sir? Step right up, don't be shy. Check out my fine bananas. They're available to buy. Yeah, I'm deeply suspicious of you, sir. You're going to be uh, Yiga clan, aren't you? So yellow, they'll make you yell. Oh, so fresh, you'll think there's a tree around the corner and the taste like a dream. Oh, He's actually selling them? 99 per banana? That's a lie as slippery as a banana peel. Mm. Yeah, I thought so. It on him. I'll use this. Oh. Man, it's a good thing I did some cooking. He's kind of brutal. Come on. This guy, he's a little annoying. Ah! I said good day, sir. This looks like it should be full of monsters. Ah, it is. Never mind them. Okay. You know, it kind of looks like there might be some sort of shrine in the area that we haven't found. Maybe over here, around here. Not picking anything up on the radar, though. Hello?
Still hasn't managed to get up yet. Nice. All it cost me was a million bomb arrows. getting kind of low on health again. Seed. Excellent. I think I need, what, five more for my next of something or other? Oh, wait. Those are still bomb arrows. Let's not waste those on a freaking Octorok. Okay, folks, so we're coming up very shortly on the end of the stream. I have to wrap up on Fridays, like maybe five minutes, ten minutes before six, so that I'm out of here right at six o'clock after the raid and everything. Um, we're going to have a good time tomorrow, though. Oh, hello. Tomorrow's stream, uh, you might remember if you were here during my nighttime streams towards the end there, we tried out a game called Spaceborn, and that experiment was inspired by, I think it was Callan Ray, telling me about Spaceborn 2, which is an early access game. And I had an immense amount of fun with Spaceborn. It was really, 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 really good. It's a Turkish sci-fi game in the same vein as things like Trade Wars 2022, or uh, 2002 rather, Trade Wars 2002, or you know, a Wing Commander or Privateer, basically you live in space, you have a ship, and you can go around and make your living and have your adventures doing pretty much anything you feel like doing. If you wanna be a bounty hunter or a privateer or a mercenary, if you want to go around mining asteroids or making your living as a trader, whatever you want to do, the game lets you do it. And it's very much that kind of a game. And Spaceborn 2 is very similar. It's the same concept, only bigger and better. And I was given a key to Spaceborn 2 by the devs. 
So we're going to try that out tomorrow for at least two, like three or four hours, I would say. Minimum. And then we'll see how things go from there. Hi. Hi. Aww. Sorry for the random question, but have you ever been to Zora's Domain? Yes, I have. Aww. I see. Is it far from here? It's a long ways. Hmm. I see. Oh, sorry. I forgot to introduce myself. Oh. I'm Sasan, the traveling merchant. I was on my way to Zora's Domain, but a love letter in this inlet caught my eye. The writer seems to be a lovely Zora named Finley. I've been corresponding with her by giving my replies to travelers heading to Zora's Domain. You know, it would probably be a lot faster if you just went there yourself. It's a long way, but I mean, if you're having to wait for other travelers to make the same trip anyway. So then, next it's her turn to write, so I'll just wait here a while. I mean, whatever works for you, but that seems weird. So yeah, we're going to be trying out Spaceborne 2 tomorrow. One of the things that it apparently includes that I found was missing from Spaceborne 1 is the ability to land on and explore planets in a big way. The first one gives you a lot of freedom, but it seems like the second one is going in a direction that I always wanted No Man's Sky to go into, and it never really quite did. So I'm really looking forward to seeing how that one works for me. Oh, okay. I don't want to mess with those guys right now. So yeah, I've been sitting on Spaceborne 2 for a little while. So I wanted to get back into Zelda. We need to finish it. So I'm really happy that we made a huge amount of progress today. Taking down a third Divine Beast is massive. So I think what I'm going to do is, if we end up going for only a few hours tomorrow in Spaceborne 2, we will spend the rest of the stream in this game. And either way, whether we spend time in uh, this game tomorrow or not, off stream, I'm probably going to go around gathering ingredients and uh, maybe doing some of the tests of strength. I will record the sessions and put them on YouTube so people don't have to miss all of the progress. But uh, I need to learn some of those fighting techniques that are necessary to take down the desert divine beast. Because uh, we're definitely not done with that yet. Okay, where are we headed? I came back along that way. Hmm. I think we're going to try to get up here. Oh, that's over there. Oh! Oh, God. Okay. Falling star. This time for sure. This is going to be the last thing we do. I know we're getting a little bit close. It's already 10 after. It's 10 after, but that's right there. We have to do this. I have wanted to get a falling star since I discovered it was possible to collect them. And I am still hurting. My soul hurts from that time just a few weeks ago where I got so freaking close to collecting one. And it disappeared literal seconds before I got to it. That was the utmost cruelty. Get out of my face, would you?
Oh, it's a little further away than I thought it was. But looks like we can probably fly a good chunk of the way, so we might be able to make it. Disappear on me. I'm right here. You're right there. You stay. Oh my god, I got it. Finally. <laughs> Okay. Uh. That's the very first time I've ever successfully managed to get one and what on Oh, it's another Hinox. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. We're not going to take him on right now. We need to go raid. Cuz I need to deal with dinner. <sighs> All right, guys. <laughs> With that, I think that's going to do it. We made pretty good time. I'm, I'm impressed I was able to get there so quickly. I thought we were going to be a lot closer to 6 o'clock when I saw that star fall. So let's see who we've got online this afternoon. One day I will get used to saying that instead of this evening. But uh, let's see what's going on. Thank you, Mr. Soggy Ramen. You too. Looks like Bokikio is playing some Dead Space. Uzi Princess. Oh my god, we haven't visited Uzi in a long time. She's playing some PUBG Battlegrounds. Asian Sensation is playing Destiny 2. Trick or Tori is playing Power Wash Simulator. Ghost... Oh my god, we're going to with Ghostbird. Ghostbird hasn't streamed in forever, but she's a dear friend. We need to go visit her. Red Fox, I am just finding somebody to raid. Uh, I have changed my schedule. I'm now a daytime streamer. Uh, we're going to go visit Ghostbird TV. I, I Unfortunately, I can't stick around and talk. Fridays, I have to be out of here pretty quickly. Uh, tomorrow, Saturdays and Tuesdays, the other days that I stream, I'm able to be on a little bit longer like around 6.30 or so. Right now it's about 5 to 6, and I have to be out of here by uh, 6. So I have to get going, unfortunately, but we're going to go visit Ghostbird because we haven't been able to raid her in a long, long time because she doesn't stream very often anymore. I'm really glad we get to catch her. So I'm just waiting for an ad to wrap up here. It is good to see you, Red Fox. It's glad to, good to have you back around here again. We're going to go raid Ghostbird TV. That's not Ghostbird. That's me, you silly bot. I'm going to type out our link. So there you go. That is her link. And I'm going to get you the uh, raid call. Here at the Library of Lore, we use Library Raid. You've been bookmarked with the heart emote and the wave emote of the channel if you are a sub. If you're not a sub, you can use the Twitch Raid and the Tomb Raid emotes. In either case, sub or non-sub, please feel free to use any emote you feel is fun and appropriate for a raid. If you have emotes of your own or maybe for another streamer from Twitch themselves, feel free to copy the raid message, arrange the emotes you want to use the way you want them to appear. It will all be good in my book. So let's go say hey to Ghostbird. Uh, she is a fantastic streamer. We've known her for many years now. We know her through Nega Oryx's channel. She and Nega used to stream together a long time back. And uh, she streams on her own occasionally as well, though she hasn't been up to it as often lately. 
So let's get to Ghostbird's channel, see what she's up to, say hello and reacquaint ourselves. I will be back here tomorrow. I will start right around noon again, as usual these days, since my schedule changed. And then I'll be going until about 6.30 in the afternoon or uh, evening. And I will be playing, like I mentioned, we will be playing Spaceborn 2 because I was uh, generously given a key by the developers through Keymailer. So that's going to be a lot of fun, and I hope to see some of you back here for that. So have yourselves a wonderful evening, night, day, whatever it is that uh, where you are in the world, and I will catch you again real soon. Bye for now, and sorry for having to wrap up so quickly, but uh, 6 o'clock, I do have to deal with dinner and stuff, so I will be back tomorrow. Bye for now.